Cruz, hello. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Awesome, awesome. So um, we wanted to just get your insight, Cruz, on um, you had trained with us in the past, mm -hmm. you took a break for a while, right. um, and maybe some of the break was longer than you wanted. Uh, but then you came back and you're at a whole new level in your training. So right. let's, let's hear a little bit about that story and, and any insight that you have to share with the other uh, fit moms or anybody out there. Right. So, um, first of all, when I came to, I, I was ready to, to start back at the change. Like you said, I, I get off track and then uh, I decided it was, it was time. Mm -hmm. I, I remember how, how, how good it felt when I, was, uh, when I was in shape at that time when I was here at Way of Life. And, and I decided it was time to, to get that motivation because I did try with friends, you know, like my best friend and say, hey, let's, let's do this and let's do that, you know, mm -hmm. uh, let's do a detox together. But then I, two weeks into it and I would just, not, not not follow through mm -hmm. and I remember when I saw the, the 12 uh, week fit mom challenge then I thought it was the, a great time to come back uh, I knew that that year and a half that I haven't been at way of life I, I couldn't die by myself I, I I know I tried and I just I just didn't feel the way I felt when I was here mm -hmm. so when I came to the orientation for the for the fit mom challenge um, I was listening to your presentation and, and what really said okay I am going to do this is something you said in there um, that is really fitting for for the moms for for us that are moms right and you said um, I don't remember the exact uh, phrase but it was something like if you don't take care of yourself then you cannot take care of others or uh, if you don't put yourself first then there's no way you can give to others especially to your loved ones and as moms we tend to forget that right so um, we, we're always giving, but if our cup is empty, then what you're giving is not quality or it's not the best you can give. And um, I've been, I, I was thinking about that for the last few months for things that were going on in my life. And, and then when you said that, I totally relate to it. And I said, well, it, it's time, you know, uh, to start taking care of me, to give better, better things to my kids and my husband and, and my family in general for those ones that I, that I care. Um, but that, that was the motivation part to say, okay, I got it. I got it back. I'm back on track. I'm going to do this. Then it was just a mindset of, okay, if I am going to set a budget aside for this, if I am going to set time for this, then I'm not going to waste it, right? Then I am going to make the best out of this time and out of this money that I'm investing because that's what it is. So you have to set your mind into that. And, um, and that's basically the whole thing just makes sense to me because it's, it's just fit moms and mom is obviously the most important part of my life and and I want to teach my kids that when you focus your mind into something uh, you can do amazing things when you are in the comfort zone nothing happens uh, it, you, you mentioned that during the, the during the orientation and it's true uh, I wasn't I wasn't unhappy I wasn't uh, how do you say depressed or anything for the way I looked but I definitely uh, knew something needed, needed to happen though. I always see myself as a great athlete uh, inside of this body that doesn't belong to, to her. You know, that's how I see myself. And um, I have never been able to get the motivation until I am doing the, the, the training here at Way of Life. Um, and, and then again, with the comfort zone, uh, Coach Gabby is like a constant reminder of that. Every time that we're here, she even, uh, she's always talking about how she's not even there yet and we want to be like her and she still says she's not there yet and um she's always like step out of your comfort zone uh she she's she has no sympathy for us and our lame excuses i don't want to do another lap or anything like that so she's she's always pushing you and reminding you that if you want something good to happen then you better put on the work um and that's what I want to teach my kids too, you know, because it's a, it's a little bit of a hypocrite be telling your kids, oh, you, you, you have to eat good, you have to uh, be active, and so when you grow up, don't look like this. Well, you have to show them too. And that's what motivated me to be here and be part of the Fit Mom group and, you know, and not just come and work out or anything because I can relate to the other moms and, uh, and we can motivate each other and, and stuff like that. Um, so that's, that's where I am. And then the workout, I just love it. Uh, Coach Gabby has been incorporating weightlifting just a little bit, not the whole session, just at the end, she sets, part, uh, she sets time for it. Mm -hmm. And I love it because it just gives you 
I, I, I like I discover a new love for weights you know it just gives you a lot of confidence you walk taller you know it just it's just awesome though and then uh, the results I saw after the three weeks the first three weeks they were amazing like I was explaining to you earlier I lost 10 pounds in three weeks and 4% body fat and that was exactly I did the math and those 10 pounds that I lost was exactly the 4% fat so all I lost was pure fat and I can tell uh, how how my body is like when I wear uh, certain jeans or something they, they fit so good they, they, they look a lot better uh, people are starting to tell me uh, people that I haven't seen in two weeks are like oh my gosh what are you, what are you doing oh, you look so good and stuff so that's uh, very uplift, uplifting and uh, that's why I determined now to make this a lifestyle for sure um, I don't want to go back and say oh I used to be like this or I used to be like that I I, I am determined that this is a new uh, lifestyle and I have new goals and I want to thank uh, Whale Life and, and Coach Gabby because I have no new goals before it was I want to lose 20 30 pounds um, well more than that but just for this challenge but now is I want to lose I want to lose like 50 pounds but then i want to grow muscles i want to have muscles yeah. <laughs> that's, that's like a new goal yeah that so awesome. that's where i am right now love yeah. that love yeah. that cruise yeah. i mean uh you, you shared so much insight right there i mean this is uh the golden video now and yeah. because so many people are going to get so much out of it what would you say to that fit mom the last question is that you know if they're not getting the results that they want right now maybe they're halfway mm -hmm. through the program they need to kind of rekindle their fire. They're almost ready to quit mm -hmm. on themselves mm -hmm. and on their program. What would you say to that mom? What do they need to do to? Um, well, really, it's, uh, are you, is your mind in, in it? Do you just want it? Well, yeah, I want a million and I want this, but are you putting on the work? I mean, are you really committed to it? Uh, we have a lot of temptations because sometimes our family is not on board with, uh, with what we're doing. Um, maybe they want to eat uh, Friday, they want to have pizza or whatever. Well. Do you want it? Okay, it's fine. If they're not on board, let them do it. But you are committed to yourself. I mean, you have to set your mind into what you want to do, and you got to put your work for that. I mean, it, our bodies are so uh, grateful, though. I treat my body well, and it immediately reacts. It's just, you just, um, maybe for some people, people it takes longer, but if you are eating well and you are working out, you'll see the results. I mean, you have to trust the process and just keep going at it, and eventually uh, you'll see it. Uh, I know with me, that's how it works, and, and uh, if it's not working, Working is because there's something that you are not doing right talk to your coach and and it pays off just just keep going at it and just don't quit because it's so hard to go back and and work that road the same way again you know you just have to keep pushing forward awesome yeah thank you Cruz Yay. all right thank all right. you so thank much you, thank you bye-bye